Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I would like to welcome you to the weekend roundup for the week ending on Saturday, September 3rd. I'm still feeling just a little bit under the weather, so you may get some sniffling and snuffling into the microphone. It never really manifested into a full-blown cold, kind of surprised me, but uh, I have been feeling a bit down this week. So, for those who don't know, the Weekend Roundup is where I take a look back at the week that was, and I take a look ahead to the week that will be. We talk about the videos that we made, we talk about the games that we played, maybe drop a few deals on you, a few weekend deals to hold you over, and, uh, yeah, just generally, I like to do a little self-critiquing of my work here, as well as just talking to you guys on a more personal basis. So the game that is being played on your screen is Darksiders. Yes, we are giving away Darksiders. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. But let me just tell you, when playing Darksiders past that initial starting area that I played for you guys in the video, oh man, this game got a lot better. It got a complex inventory system. It got a whole uh, currency system. All the enemies started dropping little souls, little floating skulls. Man, it, it got, you'll see some of the stuff here, it got really, really interesting really, really quick. And we'll talk a little bit about uh, my rating of that game. And uh, that possibly is going to change when we, uh, when we review the video for Darksiders. So let's talk about what we did this week. Well, I let off the week on TGN with a Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine video where I played the second mission in the demo. That's the Jump Pack mission. And uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Head over to TGN, that's youtube.com slash TGN, and look for the Warhammer show in the shows listing, and you will find all of my Warhammer content, as well as other directors on TGN who are doing Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine content. And yeah, before anybody says anything, Space Marine costs a little more than $5. You're right. I do buy a couple of full-price games, you know, $60, $50, $60 games every year. Uh, Portal 2 was the other one that I've bought in 2011. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've did it, and uh, I'm going to do it again, because I really enjoyed that demo, and I have high, high hopes for this game. So all my Space Marine content will be over on TGN, and we will keep the bargain gaming over here on Big Dave is Cheap. So let's move on to the videos that did find their home here on Big Dave is Cheap this week. We started out with the revisit of Monday Night Combat. All in all, I felt that video went okay. It wasn't quite what I hoped it would be. I just sort of did it all in one big take and just kind of let it flow out, let my feelings and thoughts flow out. Could have been a little more organized. It was ranty in places. Um, I, I think it was it was it was fun to make. It was fun to revisit the game. I took a few hours to play the game a little bit more. And uh, all in all, I like the way the video came out. I hope that the next one will be better. I'll probably do a few more of these, maybe two or three more. And if the series doesn't really find an identity or a format, then uh, I'll probably can it. But uh, for now, I think it's a keeper. And we will look into the next revisit sometime in the next few weeks. I don't know what it's going to be. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. And finally, we ended up the week with Darksiders. Now, like I said earlier, once I finished that prologue, the, the little tutorial that we were playing through in the demo, once I beat the boss that was at the end of the demo, oh my god, they introduced so many new mechanics, multiple item systems, special attacks. Oh, it, it got so different that I feel like the game that I represented in that video is totally different than the actual game when you get into it and you start to play it. I feel like that video almost did a disservice to this game because in that video it just felt like a linear hack and slash, uh, you know, brainless but entertaining sort of game. Once I got into the actual game, totally different. It's still fairly linear, but there is some choice uh, as you walk around. You know, you can go to a couple of different places. You can try to do a couple of different things. But, oh, man, just the systems that are introduced into the game, the inventory system, the money system, oh, it, it's great, and I hope you can hear that in my voice. Now, of course, you can win Darksiders. You have until September 6th, that is 12.01 a.m. Eastern Time, that is one minute after midnight on September 6th, to go to Steam, go on my Steam profile, that's Big Dave is Cheap, and post the comment Darksiders on my Steam profile. There's only been three or four entries so far, so your odds are really, really good. Again, this is a $20 game, and it's a lot of fun. So that's going to wrap us up for the games that we played and the videos that we made this week. Let's talk a little bit about the weekend of cheapness that is ahead of us. Anything that you can partake in? Um, let's see. Well, Steam is doing a free-to-play weekend of Call of Duty Black Ops. You only have until about... Uh, 
the middle of the day on Sunday to react to that and actually get some gameplay in, so uh, you may miss that by the time you hear this, but it's there, it's available. Always check Steam on Fridays, because if they are going to do free-to-play weekends, that stuff starts then, so keep your eyes there. They also institute their weekend deals. On Steam, the weekend deal this week is a big discount on the Call of Duty franchise. Also, uh, Direct to Drive is doing some bundle sales. These are really generally more expensive than I'm willing to pay, but it gives you the ability to buy an entire catalog from, you know, THQ or Bethesda or, or whoever, you know, that's included in the sale. Those are nice. Um, some of the individual games will be discounted as well, so take a look there. That's direct to drive. I do buy there occasionally, not, not super frequently. One site that I do buy from frequently is... Gamers Gate, yes indeed, I hope you've heard of Gamers Gate, they are from over the seas, across the Atlantic Ocean, over somewhere in Orgy Borgy land over there, but uh, they have a lot of great deals, and this week one deal I would like to highlight that is going to end on, I think Monday, is Post-Apocalyptic Mayhem. Check out my Post-Apocalyptic Mayhem video for information on the game, but that game is available this weekend for $2.50, and I would say that at that price it's definitely worth looking at. So, last but most certainly not least, I would direct your attention over to GOG.com. If you've never heard of GOG.com, they have an interesting business model where they offer older games at one of two price points, $9.99 and $5.99. Now, I don't normally buy there because of those price points, but they always have a good weekend promo every weekend, and this weekend's weekend promo features one of my favorite game series of all time, and that is Commandos. They have the Commandos games 1, 2, and 3, on sale 50% off. I would definitely recommend you check check those out. If you've never seen or heard of Commandos, what the hell? But if you haven't, Commandos is basically a strategy game. It's it's you might call it a real-time strategy game, but really it's you don't build anything. You command a small group of marines or commandos who have to infiltrate, you know, against great odds, sneaky sneaky, stabby stabby. They have to blow things up, steal submarines, all kinds of awesome stuff. So check that out. So finally, what's coming up next week? Well, honestly, I don't have any idea. If you see any games on my Steam list you'd like me to play, go ahead and drop the comment here on the video, on the YouTube channel, or on my Steam profile. Otherwise, I will struggle to come up with something at some point next week. I can tell you I'll probably only start posting about two videos a week. I realized pretty quickly that posting three videos a week, I'm running out of games. So, uh... I don't want to have to continuously buy games all the time in order to keep the series uh, fresh, in order to keep the videos fresh, and not just have to constantly do revisits and other things. Uh, so I want to keep a fresh influx of games, which means I'm probably only going to be doing about two videos a week from here going forward. And with that, we will close out this episode of the Weekend Roundup. Hope you guys have a good weekend, and until next time, take it easy.